Hello everybody, Aaron Vammer, Pioneer Field Agronomist here in Northeast Colorado. I'm here today checking out a field of corn. It's July 3rd. And one of the things that we're seeing continue to ramp up more and more as we get farther into the growing season is bacteria leaf streak. Now, what is bacteria leaf streak? It's a uh, disease caused by the bacteria Xanthomonas vasicola with the path of R being vasculorum. And it is a disease that doesn't necessarily need an injury to enter the plant. It can enter the plant through the stomata. Um, if you get a hailstorm or any type of significant wind event that might cause more and more injury uh, to that leaf, that is definitely an entry point for it. But just keep in mind, it you can enter your plant through the stomata alone. This disease doesn't cause any large or significant yield reduction in a corn crop, but it does consume some leaf area on that corn leaf, which in turn reduces the photosynthetic capability of that leaf. This likely leads to some slight yield reduction, albeit that yield reduction is hard to quantify. Bacteria leaf streak can be identified by the long, narrow lesions. Uh, they're going to be intervenal lesions. Um, they are typically a brown lesion, uh, or they can be orangish or yellowish or tannish. But uh, an easy way to identify in the field if it's a uh, bacteria leaf streak lesion is if you hold that leaf up to the sun, you can see a yellow halo around it. That's a key giveaway to this bacterial disease. Now, bacteria leaf streak is commonly confused with gray leaf spot and common rust. Now, it is very important to get a correct identification on the uh, bacteria leaf streak. Being it is a bacterial disease, gray leaf spot and common rust are both fungal diseases, meaning they can be controlled with fungicides. Bacteria leaf streak being bacterial, it cannot be controlled with fungicides. Bacteria leaf streak overwinters on corn residue, and then the following season it will infect the, the following corn crop if conditions allow. Uh, conditions that favor bacteria leaf streak development are typically warm and humid, but uh, just keep in mind that the bacteria leaf streak can tolerate periods of colder temperatures like we've had this spring. This specific path of our BLS that infects a corn crop can also infect a few other plants, a few other host plants, one being oats. Uh, some weedy species include yellow or bristly foxtail. And also keep in mind that around your field, if you have any type of pasture grass, it can infect certain species, one being orchard grass. So what can you do to manage bacteria leaf streak in your fields? Since bacteria leaf streak overwinters on the residue in a corn on corn production system, residue management and tillage can definitely help. You also wanna make sure that you are controlling weedy hosts like your yellow foxtails or bristly foxtails. And you also wanna make sure you have a good control on any volunteer corn in your fields. And the last thing is rotation to a non-host crop, which can help to break that disease cycle. If you have any more questions in regards to bacteria leaf streak, or if you need help identifying the disease in your fields, please contact your Pioneer sales rep. Thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.